single setup. Uh, we consider a complex uh, Kixenberg Landau equation of this form. And here, uh, new is, of course, is the host state, host state number. Uh, eta is the random post I will specify later. And K is, uh, we just choose K to be a cube. And this n-dimensional cube. And here n, we can just, uh, as uh, in the title, is the arbitrary dimension, space bit dimension. So n is, uh, can be, uh, arbitrary uh, integers here. Yes, yes, yes. And, and for the boundary condition, we can just uh, impose the Dirichlet Dirich uh, boundary condition. And we, for this uh, special choice of uh, domains, we can, for Dirichlet boundary condition, we can just consider it as uh, the of the periodic conditions. Um, which means that for any uh, x plus uh, j, go to pi and minus. Here, here, j is just uh, any number one to n. So for this, and uh, um, um, for for the random force, just uh, one, two, three, four. The random force we just uh, consider is a uh, is a uh, smooth in space and wide in time. And I just. Uh, Where uh, B is uh, just a, a set of uh, real number. Of course, uh, and then beta. Beta D is uh, uh, the standard uh, Brown emotion in the complex space, which can be written as a. Uh, So here, so both uh, these two, beta r and beta i, just uh, the uh, standard real brown emotions on the real line. So here, oh, another one is this. Uh, it's just the standard standard orthogonal base of uh, of uh, the Laplacian on this uh, domain, and it can it can be written as. Uh, X is equal to sine D one X is equal to S one. So so this is the setup. What we are interested in is uh, in the when the goal of our here is that we want to study the solution of uh, this equation for new is uh, all state of course and very small of course for time and the motivation of uh, this work is uh, of course is the, the motivation. Of them is the the turbulence uh, 
turbulence uh, in water. And let's uh, see, uh, uh, give some, some naive, uh, naive uh, observation of how we can relate this with turbulence. And the turbul turbulence in, um, in fluid is uh, made by two. The turbulent inflow is uh, usually is uh, we have course we need to consider the Amistok host uh, equation. U. And if uh, we add the random noise here, maybe so. Yeah. And when? When the, uh, for a turbulence, we need to let the, uh, take the Im implicit limits when we let the new go to zero. And, and presumably the turbulence uh, is uh, characterized by this uh, Euler equation. So it's a, a nonlinear equation, plus uh, this, uh, if we can just, like this force, so it's a, it's a, uh, it's a turbulent part is uh, determined by this uh, nonlinear equation. And if uh, we consider our equation when taking taking this uh, invisible limit, is get an equation of this form. Zero. So here we have uh, uh, maybe say the slightly. Uh, similar equation, so it's also a uh, equation. Just uh, we only have a uh, nonlinear part, without without a uh, linear linear. So it's uh, the main similarity of this 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 uh, two equation. And because uh, the Fourier turbulence is uh, completely out of touch at this moment, so we maybe as some standard we can consider this uh, equation as just a toy model or maybe. A model for 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 turbulence. That's why we uh, want to study uh, this equation. And the another uh, characteristic of turbulence is the 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 small scale effect, that, which means that uh, in any any small uh, small space uh, uh, difference, you can o you can always observe some ripple effects, no matter no matter how how small the uh, the the scale is uh, so this is, uh, uh, and and if uh, we uh, formulate this effect uh, mathematically, is that uh, the the lower order sublet norm maybe maybe uh, L two norm is uh, of order one, but and for higher sublet norm. Uh, maybe much larger, much larger than one. So is this uh, so? So the the problem of turbulence uh, can be, in some sense, uh, expressed in expressed in this uh, uh, close of sublet sub norms uh, uh, scenarios. So, so that's uh, uh, so much for the motivation. Probably this is enough to justify our efforts here. And. As I said, uh, we consider the case uh, for van uh, not vanishing, but uh, for small viscosity. For small viscosity, here we have a uh, uh, and for for these equations uh, is a uh, work by 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 for this equation. This equation is a mixing mixing. If I am mixing evolution here, is uh, the work by by Kuzin and uh, uh, Nashia, 2000. I will explain the, this uh, later. Okay. So that's uh, what we know about this equation already, already a lot uh, because it's mixing. Uh, and so before uh, before <laughs> going to. No, 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 not, not so much. Now, uh, let's uh, first uh, state the main result and then we discuss a little bit the proof. 
Our main, main theorem is that for any m bigger than one half the space dimension and two, and for any If uh, OPI, no, OOP, zero, and M is, uh, of course, is uh, BM is uh, finite. Oh, BM, we just uh, defined it as uh, And for any, for any, for any, for any, uh, for any delta smaller than one over eight, this number is innocent. Just uh, taking there, and then for any delta pi smaller than one, one over hundred is. This number is also innocent, it's just uh, to be a small number is fine. And we choose kappa positive and smaller than another numbers kappa smaller than gamma, smaller than square and one over five. And here d alpha is uh, if uh, if we define alpha as uh, the minimum of uh, m minus two and one, then d alpha is uh, just uh, equal to this number. Right it by. And the alpha is uh, this number. And, and if uh, we can also <coughs> assume that uh, another thing is the alpha, alpha defined this way, alpha should be bigger, alpha n, where alpha n equals to zero for n equal to one, two, and n equal to six. And upper three equal to three point six. Upper four equal to zero point six. Not not equal, almost equal. Approximately. Upper five approximately equal to one point two. Then Then we can assume additionally that alpha kappa is bigger than gamma r delta pi. So this is the, the assumptions which uh, uh, you can be you can 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 you can just uh, uh, ignore it at this moment. Then for any for this uh, then for this uh, fine. M delta delta prime and gamma kappa kappa gamma. We have uh, a zero a uh, new zero if uh, new is uh, bigger than more than new zero. Then for any new zero belong to just uh, the initial data belong to the sub left space H M. We have uh, P. Depend on u zero and and delta no. Except for any any t bigger than big t, we have the following statement. First one is that we have a gamma 
10 on T, new, everything's here. Uh, and the probability of uh, this uh, gamma is uh, bigger than 1 minus delta. And for, for omega inside this, uh, this uh, set, we have, uh, we have uh, uh, maximum of uh, the upper left norm of this uh, is bigger than bigger than new no oh, negative uh, kappa m and for t t belong to This is the first statement. Is that? Oh. Don't <laughs> think. Is that for for large enough time and uh, for large in with larger probability, which is uh, at least uh, seven over eight. So, so is the the super left norm of the solution close at least to this power this power of uh, of the uh, uh, vis viscosity constant yeah and the second statement is that second statement is that the, the average over time for for T bigger than here, average of time. No. Bigger than, no. Delta, <coughs> Papa. So it's uh, the, the average with, with respect to time and then take the expectation have at least of this order, then where L is equal to two nu minus two. Okay, it's, uh, so here is uh, this two, two. So, so we need to make for this one, we, if uh, it makes sense, uh, we need to have this uh, exponent negative, uh, positive, uh, negative, negative. That's why we we impose this constant here. Also, it's uh, why we impose on this. Okay, uh, this is the statement. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, comment on this uh, statement. Is that at least uh, in the for so for for here we have the sub left norm of this order. So in some sense that in a in a in a in a space scales of uh, maybe delta delta is of order kappa. We can see a change of order one in the. One in maybe. So this is kind of, of uh, 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 characteristic of a uh, turbulence. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes. Sir. And for the upper bound, also upper bound is uh, is the given, but it's uh, no. But upper bound, upper bound. Of this uh, constant of this order one. So this uh, we can have a uh, lower bound for the lower bound for the uh, for the sub left norm. Also have an upper bound. Of course, uh, you can see that there's a 
this one is at the best is uh, 1 over 5. But, and this one is uh, 2. Right, so there's a, 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 a still a, a gap between the two exponents. But uh, for this one, we can also see that it's, uh, as a uh, new go to 0, as new go to 0, of course, this uh, will blow up. So, yeah. hmm? Hmm? Yes, yes, yes. No, no, of course, uh, this uh, have a constant here. So this constant depends on an initial data. No, no, no. It, it depends on initial data, the size of it. Yes, yes, yes. Bounded by the negative power of this one. Okay. So because and then no, there's no blow up. Yes. No, 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 no. There's no explosion. No blow up here. It's a global is solvable and it's a. Uh, have uh, upper bound in there, so it's a uh, uh, well, normally with uh, with uh, viscosity here you 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 don't expect explosion. So here is uh, so much about the statement, and I think about half a uh, one. Uh, Oh, maybe 15 minutes as fast, uh, so I can do some nasty things at this now. Okay. So for this statement is uh, uh, the proof of this uh, this uh, this theorem can consist of uh, two parts. Oh, let's uh, let's explain the modern mixing. Mixing is here because we are going to use uh, use uh, this. Uh, no. Hmm? I think it's a much, much, much early, earlier one. Right? Upper one is in a much earlier paper. Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, for of course, this uh, equation is uh, globally well posed. So, and and for any initial data, if uh, we consider uh, this uh, operator p so we go to the probability of uh, gamma just a set inside inside the place space maybe. And no, no, it's C zero, C zero subset. And then this is just the probability to build T down to. Down. So it's the same notation with uh, with Renault is the, the and then mixing means that. Uh, For any initial data, it's a, there's a unique and a new. There's unique measure on this uh, on this probability space. On the probability space of this continual fun continual function space, such that so converge weakly for any for any initial data. This is the mixing. 
a uniquely mixing uh, system. And there's a very, uh, also have a very good uh, upper bound for the, for the, uh, uh, C, uh, how to say that, a supreme norm of the solution. Is that for any, for any t bigger than zero, any solution, any initial data, the expectation of Uh, more than some constant, big constant, big one. So it, this uh, uh, this uh, upper bound is also for for the this uh, upper bound for the. Uh, uh, Supreme norm of the solution is also in this direction. So with uh, this uh, two, with these two, uh, with these two, uh, a prior, uh, these two result, we need uh, we need another to. And we need another. So the proof of this theorem is uh, based on the on these two estimate and this mixing and this uh, upper bound estimate and another. First one is that the stationary this stationary measure uh, the probability is that for the stationary measure. Two norm smaller than any delta constant. This constant it is it depend on 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 b small small b and just depend on small. Okay. Lemma two is uh, if uh, if uh, the initial L two norm bigger than delta, then for small enough. We have uh, the slope left norm of uh, bigger than for some t um, s belong to. Here we just uh, assume that this initial data so is zero. And mega is belong to M. We have a 
here we have a exit and this uh, omega ratio of this omega is also greater than one. Okay, so it's uh, two lemmas here. So, so, so with this, this mixing, we know that for with this. Uh, uh, the first lemma is that for the stationary state, uh, the L2 norm of the solution cannot uh, stay, uh, with a large probability, it cannot stay small, right? So it can, can be small of only of this, uh, this uh, probability. The second one is that if the L2 norm, initial data, the L2 norm is large than this one, then if you at least grow the subleft norm, m subleft norm, at least goes to up to this order in this time interval. Uh, in this time intervals. And of course here, this probability is, uh, is uh, chosen in this way. So if this two, we can see that for any initial data, it will be uh, it will close to, close to the stationary solution, a stationary state, so it will eventually, with a large probability, it will be just uh, have, uh, uh, for most of the uh, solution, it will have a L2 norm bigger than this order, and then after that, we just use this uh, uh, lemma two, okay, so on that. It will at least grow, grow up, to, up to this order. Right, so it's a two-step statement. And for the first, uh, uh, first uh, lemma, I will not prove here. <laughs> so I will just uh, give some how we prove uh, the second, the second, uh, the second lemma here. So now, how? Let's see how we choose uh, this uh, ome big omega set. Yeah, we just assume time is a uh, uh, study from, from from zero. So we, the omega set is uh, is just chosen to be. Uh, hmm? No, it's a stationary state. Stationary state, it it not depend on time. So is this, but this one, this is a stationary state. Right? It, it does not depend on time. So for any time, it's like this. So we have, uh, we chose the uh, omega to be, yeah, such that, uh, uh, that t, Or no. So from here, we, A is uh, for to be any any positive but small small number. We can make it to be as uh, small, amplitude small, and then just uh, so. Uh, this is just uh, we restrict the uh, the growth of the uh, Brownian motion in this uh, time interval to be up to up to this order. Okay, for since uh, we have a is positive, so so for 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 gamma small enough, we always have have this one is uh, bigger than one over delta. Right. So we have fixed delta here, and then. We want to show that uh, for for omega here, omega inside this set, and for initial data of this order, at least of this order, at least bigger than <laughs> this one, 
it will close to the sub-left norm uh, will close to this order. So, so we use a uh, uh, So the claim is that uh, uh, yeah. use the assume now two which means that for any omega inside this big omega. T more than more than uh, more than Papa. Papa here. Long to zero. So we. If uh, it's not true, we have this uh, this uh, this uh, relation, and we want to show that uh, we, this will lead to uh, contradiction. So, uh, for the solution of this uh, equation, we can just write as uh, the following equation. Equal to K dot no. Plus the Yeah, we can we can write we can write the the solution of uh, this uh, CGL equation as uh, this uh, integration uh, equation here. So for the first term, oh yes, this omega <laughs> is not omega. It must be omega. A is just equal to. So for this equation, we need to uh, need to uh, uh, control need to make some estimate here for for the first one. We have uh, since uh, we have uh, this uh, assumption here. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, for, for this one is uh, this one is the, for the 
question, and this one is the, for the uh, stochastic force, and this one is the linear curves here. So for this one, uh, we need to So for the first one, for the first one, we have uh, this. It's just the uh, the square. The the we have uh, for the first one maybe maybe one, and this one is two. Last one is no, it's i is three. So for i. So we have uh, it's uh, small than more than uh, minus tau. Then so omega here. And stream is the T so then tau small. And then this one, since uh, we have this uh, uh, assumption here, so the H1 norm is smaller than nu to the minus kappa. So we have. Uh, we have uh, this one is just uh, and 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 because uh, here we have nothing we know so this one is. Uh, Smaller than minus kappa, and from the from the supreme norm estimate here, it's always uh, just uh, of uh, constant. It's independent of the indep independent of the the viscosity constant. So, so we have uh, this is smaller than smaller than just uh, a t big t go to so here we have uh, we will have uh, a norm of uh, of norm of uh, uh, two minus uh, plus two m plus upper and then. For the second turn, second turn since we can just uh, two, two. We, we can bound it from below by since this turn is just uh, you take the h one norm, h one norm of the first one, h one. We take the H1 norm of uh, the first, one, this one will be uh, will be just of uh, of the some L2, the L2 norm. Zero. L largest one is this. All right. So and for the last one, you is using integration by part. It will be just a uh, uh, integration by part formula for for the uh, uh, stochastic integration here. And 
have the integration by perform here. Just, uh, just equal to uh, new. But, uh, So we have the distance. Uh, for normal uh, integration by the formula for stochastic formula, you have uh, an additional term with a uh, co quadratic variance <coughs> between uh, this one and this one. Since this one is uh, just a, a, a C1 function with respect to T, so the quadratic variance with, with respect to bounding motion is just uh, equal to zero. So we, we, don't, we don't have that, that terms here. So um, if our, our choice of omega here, we, this one will be just uh, bounded by bounded by this uh, exponent here. So we we'll, we have these two bounded by by. Plus uh, upper and then T. So here uh, we want we want this term to dominate this part and this part. So if uh, we sum up the exponent here, we can find that if uh, the kappa and gamma be chosen, uh, satisfy the condition uh, in the theorem, which is uh, smaller than some, some, some smaller than that relations here. Then we will have a contradiction here because the, here we we will have a, a, this is of order this uh, this is of order of uh, order negative power. So the sum up here will be have a negative order of. Uh, We chose the kappa and, and gamma to satisfy some relation before. So then we will have uh, the H1 norm of this at time, at time gamma nu minus gamma of this order C to the Minus uh, new some con some exponent smaller than smaller than gamma. So for new small enough, this will be bigger than kappa. And if this hope this hope choose by the sub sub embeddings uh, for we will have uh, that, uh, this is uh, of order nu minus gamma, and this one will have uh, order nu minus ka, uh, uh, and you have a kappa, and this uh, will have a new gamma. Gamma is bigger than kappa, so we will have a uh, 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 contradiction here. So this is more or less, uh, more or less the, uh, and the main, the main, uh, the main, uh, this part is uh, mainly due to nonlinearity terms here, right? So the growth of this uh, sub-left norm is uh, uh, mainly due to the nonlinearity. It's not because of the the uh, random noise, or of course not because of the dissip uh, dissipations here. So here is uh, more or less like this. And
So, so with uh, this, uh, yeah, this now, now we already proved that uh, is uh, at least uh, the uh, the left norm at least will go up to order kappa m, kappa m. Yeah, so so is uh, for 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 proving for proving the is uh, remain remain larger with respect to time you average is uh, just uh, go back to the equation and take So if uh, we apply the eta formula to uh, yes, uh, oh, find the eta formula. If uh, eta formula to this uh, functional, to this, uh, and then we will have uh, the following uh, equation: vanity one t two. is equal to cos we have uh, minus 2 t1 t2 plus 1 and then we have uh, this uh, T1, T2, plus the, the, the stochastic term. Here, M is just the uh, uh, inner product in, in the surplus space. So for this one, Always have uh, is uh, small than some constant for this one. So if uh, we already proved that in this time interval there is at least one odd, one time is uh, bigger than bigger than uh, minus uh, kappa m. So now we can choose two. Interval of this form, t plus uh, zero, <coughs> zero, comma, comma, comma. So in this two, we can just uh, take the, take the, take the, take the interaction in intersection of this. Uh, for different gamma here. So in this tight interval, tight intervals, we have uh, a moment is bigger than this uh, order. And in this uh, moment, this uh, tight interval, we also have a moment bigger than this order. So, so if, uh, if uh, we, we say that for, if uh, we say that if uh, there is a, a, tie, uh, a moment, mo if uh, all of these uh, are bigger than one over, maybe saying that. If uh, I Always have uh, here. Kappa M. One over two. Then, of course, the integration with respect to T is. Uh,
bigger than if uh, we have a moment inside this one Touch that. The smaller than more than one over two. Oh. Huh? Then since there we can have uh, another another moment inside this interval is uh, bigger than this this up up this all. So if we choose the uh, choose t T1 to be maybe T0, Let's say we say T0 here, and T2, so the, the, the moments inside this interval is bigger than this order. So this is the, the difference of this one is of order, at least of order nu minus kappa. This one is just innocent. So this one is positive. It's negative. This bar is positive, so it's a. Uh, uh, so we we will have at least uh, the integration of the u c infinity. So d t from t one to zero t zero to t two is uh, at least of this order one. And of course, uh, since uh, this is just uh, smaller than, bigger than zero, smaller than two gamma, uh, two nu minus gamma, then if we take the, take the, time average, we will have uh, additional, additional uh, exponent here. You will have to plus another. You divide it by, divide it by one over, one over uh, nu to the gamma, and then you have this one. So we, in both case, in both case, we will have the, we have the, in the time average of all the, okay, so it's uh, like this. Oh, thank you. Okay.